Yo, tonight, Mili Lani, you have a beetle problem. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Kenny Choi in for Yunji Denise. The dangerous and destructive rhino beetle just surfaced in a new spot. The beetles were found on Wikau Street in Mililani near the Mililani Tech Park just south of the Lelehua Golf Course. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has more on tonight's top story. This is the trap near the Mililani Tech Park that snared a female rhino beetle yesterday. Residents of Lalani Valley were surprised to learn of the find. Veronica Eli just moved here from Alaska. I never thought about it, but I hope that they, you know, take care of it fast. This find here in central Oahu is a bit of a mystery because it's eight miles outside of the original infestation zone. Most of the efforts have been concentrated at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, where the pests were found nesting in a massive mulch pile. State agriculture officials aren't sure if the pest is being spread across the island in mulch where the beetles may have laid their eggs. We want to ask people to remove any standing mulch piles they have on their properties, put them in your county green bins to, to be taken away. Um, the county is making sure that the green waste is being taken to places that are approved for disposal. So that's um, Hawaiian Earth Products or um, H Power. Mililani residents can expect to see more traps in a two mile radius around this latest find. It's the same strategy being used at Diamond Head, where an adult male beetle was found last week. Curtis says the best scenario is that those communities are not infested with beetle nests. These finds, these single beetle finds, may be anomalies. They may be that they were a single beetle that was transported there and happened to find our trap, which would be great. The, if that happened, then our increased trapping that we're going to do and our increased surveying that we're going to do will not show, turn up anything. But it could take a year or more to verify that. The military has begun burning the coconut trees they've chopped down in an effort to contain the infestation. Residents are being asked to be on alert for any of the telltale signs of infestation. So far, there have been no finds on the neighbor islands. Now, these latest finds will mean a demand for more traps and additional crews as the eradication campaign intensifies. Thousands of traps are already in use, and the state will employ a team of close to 50 people out in the field.